So I've been into self-improvement for the best part of 10 years now, always discovering new things, always discovering fasting, diet, meditation, breath work, cold exposure, grounding, yoga, all of these stuff, right? There's so many things. And I've always been looking for a commonality of what it is, why, what are these things and why do they actually change us? Why do they make us better? And I'm going to tell you that now. And if you take away this simple concept, right, it will change your life because it can become overwhelming. It can become complicated when you've got all of these things. What do I do? What do I do first? What do I do next? And we just don't know. The simple way to put it is self-improvement is a return to natural law. It's a return to your natural state how a human, how a human living on this planet evolved through these years is supposed to live. It's that simple. And all self-improvement does, whether it's self-improvement for the body, the mind, or the spirit, it's giving your body, it's giving your mind, and it's giving your spirit what it actually needs, what it is actually supposed to be doing. So, we look at the body stuff, right? We look at cold exposure, yoga, exercise, movement, all of these things, sunlight. Why do they work? Because that's what the body needs. That's what the body has evolved through. That's what the body resonates with. It's built to move, right? So when you don't move, then it gets problems. It's evolved through sunlight. It's evolved through circadian rhythms. So you don't get sunlight, problems occur. Your melatonin will start being off. Your sleep patterns will be off. Your sleep will be worse because of this. So sunlight's important. Then you look at yoga, another form of movement, right? Stretching, working the muscles, working the body, moving that energy through your body. Cold exposure, testing yourself against the forces of nature. Back in the day, we would have experienced cold moments and the body would have to fight and adapt and be strong because of it. So now we live in these comfort bubbles. We've lost all this ability now. We're weak. So cold exposure, once again, is telling your immune system it needs to fight. It's, it's giving adaptation. It's giving you brown fat. It's giving you extra circulation to move blood around the body. Of course, it's going to be beneficial. It's so obvious, right? You look at the mind. We just look at what we're doing to our minds now. We're scrolling endlessly on TikTok and these apps. We're sitting in front of the screens. We sit in front of a TV on average 15 years of our lives. 15 years. And then we've got all of the propaganda, all of the news, all of the bullshit that's just fed into us, right? All this negativity over and over. And then we're just talking about it over and over, reliving the same energy, the same negativity. And we have that effect. And then we don't do anything to counterbalance this, right? So we've got all that toxic energy, all that endless ADHD scrolling that we can't focus, we can't concentrate. And we don't meditate, we don't do any of these things. So obviously, you go and meditate, you learn how to focus, you learn how to concentrate, you learn how to breathe again, and you get benefits. You go to the spirit, and we've got this aspect of our lives that we've completely just disconnected. We don't care about it, we don't talk about it, we don't do anything about it. And then you work on that, you incorporate prayer and gratitude and things of that nature, and you start moving into a different energy. Your spirit starts to feel whole, it starts to feel purposeful, it starts to have meaning and gratitude for why it's here and what it's about, and all of a sudden your life starts changing, right? And once again, all these things, what do they have in common? They're just returning you to natural law, to the natural state of how we're supposed to live. There's nothing magical about them. There's nothing amazing about them. It's just what we're supposed to do. And we've deviated so far from natural law that just bringing us back to natural law actually gives us benefits at this point because we're so sick. We're so fatigued. We're so worn. We're so broken as a society, as a individual as a collective we don't have a clue how we're supposed to live all we do is just feed our body toxins and breathe toxins and listen to it's all poison everything that we do is poison we watch poison we listen to poison we drink poison we breathe poison we eat poison 
poison just into our body all of the time and all we need to do is just remove these poisons remove these toxins and return back to natural law and all of a sudden you see the benefits it's that simple that's all you need to do look at your life look at where you've deviated from natural law look at the way you're eating what you're eating what you're drinking what you're watching what you're listening to your environment what you're thinking and you will see that there's practices that will be able to balance this up be able to change these and bring you back to natural law bring you back to natural order bring you back to how you're supposed to live and then you will see the benefits then you will see your body your mind and your spirit reach new levels thanks for watching and remember you're here to evolve Thank you.